We have long known that Donald Trump has revered uh, the Nazis. He has revered Hitler. He's read his book. He used to say he had it on his nightstand. Donald Trump has had a very sinister philosophy, um, wanting to be a dictator, uh, absolutely dividing people up based on who they are, based on factors about them that have to do with their race and their gender, etc. Former President Trump did an interview with Hugh Hewitt, and he made a particular comment about murderers that cross over the border and commit murder in this country. And for some reason, these remarks have sparked a new hoax about Trump that is being fueled by the Trump derangement on CNN. So what we're going to do is dive into some of these crazy reactions and debunk every single one of them. Let's start with the actual comment that has everyone at CNN triggered. How about allowing people to come through an open border, 13,000 of which were murderers, many of them murdered far more than one person, and they're now happily living in the United States. You know, now a murderer, I believe this, it's in their genes, and we got a lot of bad genes in our country right now. So what did he say exactly that murderers, it's a belief of his, it's in their genes. And in this country, we have a lot of bad genes, which means what? That we have a lot of murderers in our country. That's what I heard. I didn't hear Mexicans are murderers. I didn't hear Asians are murderers. I didn't hear, uh, you know, black people are murderers. I didn't hear any of that. I heard if people are murdering people repeatedly, it must be in their genes. And we have a lot of people in this country with those genes. How is that racist? How is that inflammatory? How is that Hitler-esque, right? Because this is the road that we're about to go down as I react to these clips is that's what they want us to believe. Now, I didn't hear that, and I'm sure you didn't. Now, let's hear the first reaction that came out of CNN. And this woman who's about to speak, uh, she definitely is the Joy Reeds of the world, but on CNN. We have long known that Donald Trump has revered uh, the Nazis. He has revered Hitler. He's read his book. He used to say he had it on his nightstand. Donald Trump has had a very sinister philosophy, um, wanting to be a dictator, uh, absolutely dividing people up based on who they are, based on factors about them that have to do with their race and their gender, etc. And when he uses language like this, I don't think that it's a Freudian slip. I think that the danger of a Donald Trump is that he would absolutely try to uh, exterminate an entire group of people because he thinks that their genes are somehow different than his and faulty. And I say this with all the sternness that you hear in my voice because it is serious and Americans should recognize that. OK, so she wants us to believe that Donald Trump is going to exterminate people when he's never done that in his entire life. Matter of fact, if there are a certain group of people that we all would love for him to exterminate, it would be the drug cartels. It would be the sex traffickers. It would be the rapists. It would be those murderers that he was referring to. Absolutely. Please eradicate them off the face of the earth. We would love that. But I guess that's racist, right? I, I guess that's being extreme. I guess if I believe that, then I guess I'm, I'm a supporter of Hitler. Like this is the derangement they want us to believe in. But lady, we have common sense here, right? You speak with your emotions and I'm speaking with common sense. And that is the difference. As we go throughout this video, you're going to continue to see how bad this derangement really gets. Now, of course, there's only one person at CNN, in my opinion, that has a certain level of common sense. His name is Scott Jennings. And of course, he had to respond to that comment as well. And I liked his take. Let's see if you do. Listen. I mean, you heard it. He's obsessed with the genetic composition of the murderers and the violent people who are in the country. We do have 13,000 murderers here. We have even more people here who've committed sexual crimes, what violent about sexual crimes. the genetic crimes? composition of murderers here in the United States who yeah. are American citizens? I, 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 I mean, are, what, yeah. what should we do about that? Fine. I think, I think it's perfectly fine to acknowledge that there is a long body of research, that there are some people who are genetically predisposed to violence. But today, today, there has been an effort to make it seem like Donald Trump is saying something about immigrants when all he is commenting on are the violent murderers who are in the country, it's simply not true what's being said about him today. And I can't believe 
honestly, what I'm hearing, I've seen people all day long attacking Trump because he's worried that we have 13,000 violent murders. But he's calling attention. There are white people in this country who are committing far more murders than immigrants How and other many? Americans. Well, there's also white the immigrants in the, the country, too. The point is too. that Donald when, Trump is a sorry. white supremacist. He is oh. generating nativist <laughs> language to appeal to genetic bases of behavior. That is a classic definition of what we mean when by I white supremacy. About- you know, that that's the problem with uh, someone like Michael Eric Dyson, okay? He's a clown, all right? So we don't have to really entertain his ideas. But I do want to nip that in the butt really quick because... He turned the conversation into white men and white supremacy when we're talking about people who broke the law in the first place, who crossed over the border when they weren't allowed to cross over the border, okay, that are committing crimes on our soil. So you have just as much compassion for those people as regular American citizens. That's what the people like Michael Eric Dyson want us to believe in and sympathize with. Tell me how that makes sense. I, I, don't, I don't understand that. And Scott Jennings is dead on about this. Why is the media trying to create something that isn't there? And you could tell they're trying to push a narrative. You could tell they're trying to to turn this into something it really is not. They pick and choose what they want to give their energy to. They pick and choose what idea they want to plant in the minds of their audience. And right now, the idea for them is Donald Trump. Once again, he's spreading white supremacy ideology by calling out uh, illegal immigrants when He's calling out illegal immigrants who are murderers, and then they come into our country and they commit more murder. That's who he's talking about. Okay, so when you have to go debate someone who is extreme liberal, progressive possibly, but they have the woke mind virus, mean they're probably race hustlers at best, you get this reaction that we're about to hear from Michael Eric Dyson. Um, And I got to say, man, if this is the ideology that they're teaching at universities, that means they are infecting the minds of our future leaders. Listen to this. The point is that the discrimination against to discriminate in, in terms of distinguishing who's violent and who's not ends up being ironically, inadvertently, you wink, wink, uh, tethered to race and to the immigration policy that is premised upon denying the legitimacy of American status to these people. Why is it that we got to pick them out in terms of you're violent because you're Mexican, you're violent because you're Dominican, <laughs> you're just, violent because you're... Couldn't we just have a better system what, where we're able to maybe check we tried. Donald before Trump we let them you all sitting no, at the right. table, Kenny. There was a bipartisan bill. Has that guy racist, 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 I know that's painful, okay, but bear with me here. So obviously, once again, this is their go-to move. Anytime they're in a debate, their go-to move is to do what? Bring up race. Tie it all back to race. When, in fact, if people commit crimes, I don't care what skin color you are. If you're committing a crime, you're committing a crime and you should be held accountable, especially if that crime is murder and you do it repeatedly. Why, Why is this even a debate at this point? Majority of the country supports mass deportation, meaning what? Most of the country has common sense on this very issue. They don't want murderers or rapists coming across the border. Absolutely not. Now, if you're getting value from this video, do me a favor, please. Like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Let's get this out to more people like you and me. If you want to support us further, you could go to the link in the description below. Grab yourself a t-shirt or buy us a cup of coffee. Now, the bigger picture here is that Kamala Harris is never going to win this issue when it comes to border security or immigration, and that for the most part, this country sees things for what it is. The results are bad. They've been bad. It doesn't matter what Kamala Harris says. It doesn't matter what Joe Biden says. Uh, None of it is truly matching up. The polls are showing that. Uh, And that's why I loved what Scott Jennings had to say when he just gave them what the reality is, right? He gave them a good reality check. Listen to this. Let me give you the political reality that we're in right now in October. Sure. Huge majority of the American people believe and know that we have an illegal immigration crisis in this country. Kamala Harris got asked three times on national television tonight if it was wrong to change the executive orders the way they did on day one that allowed this huge flood of people to come in. She would not address it because she knows how politically damaging it is. There are people all over this country and every political party and independents, too, who know full well that if she becomes the president, we're going to have a permissive immigration structure, even more permissive than we had under Biden. And they and they believe Donald Trump will crack down on this and that he has the common sense 
viewpoint that, hey, maybe we don't want violent people in here. No, they don't go down the list and say rapist in, rapist in. They just go down the list and say in, 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 in. Why don't we know if they've been convicted of a crime in another country? It's broken. He will crack down on it. She will not. And everyone Scott, knows Why is that so hard for them to accept? Oh, I know why. Because if they were to accept exactly what Scott Jennings just said, it would be looked at as their support for Donald Trump. When really, that doesn't mean you support Donald Trump. In fact, if you would agree with Scott Jennings, that probably speaks to your level of emotional maturity and your ability to exercise some level of common sense when it comes to this whole border crisis that is on our hands right now. Okay, so let's just remind everyone of some of the facts, okay? It was January 2021 when Kamala Harris and Joe Biden sat down and started doing what? Removing every single policy that Trump had in place that had the border secured. That's just bottom line. For example, one of the big ones is called remain in Mexico for asylum seekers. OK, so obviously, if they're seeking asylum, you're going to wait in Mexico, not in America. And we know they halted the construction of the border wall, which was ridiculous. Technically, it's a fraction to whatever we've sent already to Ukraine. And it's a fraction of whatever we spent on uh, illegal migrants up to this point and it went on and on and on and on and now we are where we are today so when trump gets up there and he says about the thirteen thousand murderers who have crossed the border and that he believes murderers you know it's in their genes and there's a lot of bad genes in our country i think we all can exercise some common sense and truly understand what he's talking about okay he's talking about the failed border policies that have led to what disastrous results in our country. And a lot of people have this attitude on the left, like, well, you know, it's not really that. It's kind of only happening here or there. Listen, explain that to the families who have been directly impacted by illegal migration. And furthermore, they only have this attitude because it doesn't really impact them. But I guarantee you this, if an illegal migrant killed Michael Eric Dyson's wife or family, I bet he'd have a different perception. And that's my opinion. What do you guys think about this entire uh, hoax from CNN uh, that mostly everybody on that damn network is losing their freaking mind over a comment uh, that actually is rooted in truth? I really want to know what your thoughts are and more in the comment section below. And now that you know how Trump truly feels about these illegal uh, criminals crossing the border, why don't you check out how Kamala Harris feels about these same individuals by clicking on the video that's coming up right now.